It's been a little bit, but welcome back to our Road to Orion series here on our second account. In our last video, our top comment was from Ulti Boy saying that we need to use the 15 round MP5, but we can only use burst. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So I went ahead and made a class really quick of what I could scrounge around. I obviously threw on the 15 round mag, but I don't have a whole lot of like under barrel choices here. I literally only have four. So I just picked a random one with like recoil steadiness and aim walking steadiness. Then I picked a suppressor and a, the smallest barrel I could because I'm gonna have the smallest mag, might as well have the smallest barrel. And then this laser. But the camo challenges we have to complete today are getting our 50 kills with a Lockman sub, which shouldn't be too bad. 50 kills is nothing. Then we need 10 double kills, which is gonna be wild with only having Having 15 bullets, I have a feeling we'd be running out of ammo a whole lot. And then we need 50 kills with the suppressor. That's why I threw it on the class. And then 10 hip fire kills. Actually, these challenges don't seem too horrible. The only thing I'm really concerned about is the double kills. Then once we get all that done, we need to get our three kills without dying. But let's just go ahead, hop in, and just see how awful this is going to be. But before we hop in, if you want to leave a suggestion and a challenge of what weapon you want to see us do next, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll have a comment there as well with all the weapons that we've already completed. So make sure you check that out first before leaving your suggestion. That way we don't get any repeats. Oh, wait a second. And there's just a playlist update. It looks like we got Shoot the Ship back. Okay. Haven't seen this in a while. Oh, and it looks like we get Shoe House right to start. It's been a while. Let's make sure that we change this to burst mode. Don't want to forget. Go ahead and switch. No, not that. There we go. I don't think we've had like a dedicated Shoot House playlist in like a few updates. Maybe it was like the end of season two reloaded. We might have gotten like a playlist update for it for like maybe a week to have a whole shoot house like 24 7 playlist and then they removed it immediately so i'm glad that shoot house is back but i honestly prefer it when shoot house and shipment are separate because sometimes i'm trying to get like a lot of kills fast or i'm trying to get like camos or whatever done fast and i just want to play on uh shipment and whenever there's a shoot the ship playlist it seems like everybody backs out of the shoot house to go find shipment so there's just every single lobby is shoot house but i guess it works for today the only bad thing about them adding this in is that they took out 10 v10s which is like one of the, my favorite modes to play when I, I'm not really feeling shipment. So a little upsetting, but we did just get a double kill right there. So it doesn't look like it's going to be too horrible to get double kills with this 15 round mag. And just for a quick second, let's look at this Boeing Blossoms camo. I love how they updated it. A lot of the camo updates they've done recently, like with Polyatomic and Orion, I liked some of the changes to Orion. The, the animation was a little fast to start, but they kind of found a even ground with that. And then with Polyatomic, they really did not need to make it animated. It seems like they're just trying to find things to do. But Boeing Blossom is definitely a welcome change. I love how the, the petals look. It's, it's like they're falling right off the tree. And honestly, I don't think this MP5 is that bad. We've definitely had worse challenges before. And after taking a, a little bit of a break from this series, this is a, a nice welcome back. And it wasn't an intentional break, by the way. It was just a, a lot of stuff happening with the new update. They added in like a bunch of new camos. And I just had to get all that done. I had to try it all out. So I, I'm sorry for the pause in between uh, uploads on this series, but we're back to it. Oh, this thing actually just kills in two bursts. Bursts actually might be better for the small mag. Because if I know, if I'm shooting like full auto with this only 15 round mag, I'm going to miss every single shot and then have to reload. At least with the burst, I have to time my shots a little bit. And I've seen some other weapons that like when you change firing types or firing modes, they seem to do a bit better. Like I, I, I've seen people using like the Cronin Squall in Warzone, like the battle rifle and switching it from semi-auto to single fire. And it does so much more damage. So you know what? Maybe it's meta. I'm just going to go into this believing that this is the better way to use the weapon so that I feel better about doing it. Oh, come on. The big downfall of using just burst, though, is I feel like I'm getting my, uh, like, Cold War zombies aim. Where, like, dead shot takes over every time you go to aim, like, with uh, the aim assist. Holy shit. I feel like I'm just constantly tapping my aim button and then shooting to try to, like, reattach. I don't think it's working too well. It's also been like a, a, almost two weeks since I've played on controller. Uh, I always do this to myself. I'm, pl I'm playing specifically on controller to get better at it. And then I just like take these random breaks and then I lose all my muscle memory progress. So we got a game extra hard today trying to get that progress back. And while we're going through my camo challenges, you might have noticed I only had one kill to start with this is because I just hopped in Warzone. There's only 19 levels on this. Normally I do stream leveling them up, but I, I figured 19 levels would just go by pretty fast and I didn't want to have like a, a, a short stream. So I just hopped in Warzone. I threw on my one double a weapon XP token and I just went and did uh, like Intel contracts for it. And I was getting like six to 
I think 12 levels per Intel contract. And I got this fully leveled up, only killing one person in Warzone. But while I was on there, I noticed that plunder is gone. I think it's been gone since like the ranked update. I don't know why they would take out plunder. They just came out with like the huge announcement that plunder is back. And, you know, they, they tried to hype it up like brand new content. And then it was just taken away for no reason. Like, what's the point? Why even put it back in if you're going to take it right out? That's the thing I hate most about like Infinity Ward CODs is that nothing's ever permanent. Playlist wise, map wise, mode wise. It's always going to be taken away from you whenever you start enjoying it. Because I was using Plunder to level up some of my weapons. And I feel like that's a lot easier than playing in Warzone. Because for Warzone, you have to either like find the weapon on the ground or like buy it from the, the loadout. Or, or buy it from the buy station or grab it from the loadout. Got those two things combined. So it's just significantly easier on Plunder when you're just spawning with it and get to use it right away. So even if I'm not playing Plunder for its like intended, you know, way, I still don't think it should be removed. I, I know there's people out there that, you know, like to casually play Warzone and like to just hop into Plunder and play that way. So I don't see why they take it out. Same with the 10v10s. I feel like 10v10s is one of the more popular playlists and now it's just gone. Because I'm of the opinion that a lot of these maps are too big for 6v6. I know a, a lot of other people share that opinion. Ooh, nasty. And with the 10v10 playlist, it just makes like a lot of the maps they've been adding in that just feel too big and don't flow well. It, it just makes them play so much better when there's more people on the map. Like I'm not the biggest fan of the, the new lighthouse map. I guess it's not that new now, but but playing on it just felt like hide and seek trying to find somebody. Same with the, the new fish map or whatever, the, the fish hatchery. It just feels like they need more people on it and then taking out that mode is just dumb. I, I don't like it. Oh, you take a throwing knife, you little fucker. And I was completely off COD like all day yesterday or, or two days ago when this video comes up. And apparently that was the best day to not play because the, the whatever update that came out that was supposed to like patch some bugs ended up completely ruining the game. Like it was unplayable. I, I was seeing clips of, you know, people having like their UI flashing back and forth. Their, their frames were literally like four frames a second on whatever they were playing on. It was like console, PC, everything. So it seems like they can't really get a whole lot of these updates right. Playlist updates or just anything in general. And we actually didn't do too bad that game. We got like halfway through on all of our camo challenges. And that was just on Shoe House. They give me a game of shipment, it's over. And going back to the whole update breaking the game thing. I, I, of course, I don't think that was like intentional, obviously, like whatever game development shit goes on there's gonna be some bugs and honestly i really like season three reloaded's update I, I liked all the camos and stuff they brought in i think raid episode three was you know fun definitely not the best raid to come out but uh, it had a really cool camo for it so i'm there and then finally adding in rank to warzone was great even if it's not my thing but something cod has done that i think is just really in poor taste it is uh there's a like a community mod like a, a fan made type game of uh i don't i don't know what game it's specifically based off of but it's supposed to be a fan made cod game that has like all the the fan favorite maps every weapon all the camos from like it might be world at war all the way to like black ops 4. so it, it's pretty expansive and it's something that i've been wishing cod would do for a while is just have like even if it's going to be in their yearly release game just throw in all the fan favorite maps and weapons to start and then build off on the new stuff as you go. But some fans were making a, a, a COD game. I think it was called like SM squared or SM2, whatever you want to call it. I'm just, I just heard about it today. So I, I don't know if I have all the information correct, but it's basically like what COD mobile would be on like actual console or, or PC. And I know there's a lot of people that hate COD Mobile, so uh, don't take it as the way like, oh, it's going to be like a mobile game on there. It's just that COD Mobile already has like a bunch of like fan favorite maps and weapons as well. And it would just be like our, our mainline version of that in terms of like content. But that was given a cease and desist uh, just yesterday, I'm pretty sure. And that's just awful for all the, the COD fans out here that are just like suffering for content. And maybe you're not into the newest game. Maybe you just don't like how it plays. It, having other options to go to is perfect and what they could have done is just like you know maybe bought the property maybe the, the cease and desist is them saying like this is something that we want to do in the future but i'm pretty sure it's just them 
protecting their IP. And I just don't know why COD won't go and do that. They could charge like $200 for the game. And I'm sure it would still sell like crazy if it had everything in it. Because at the moment, uh, X Defiant was only like a beta. So that game's not fully out yet. So we don't really have like another game to go to. There was another like COD clone type game that has come out. I honestly don't remember the name of it, but th this game in genre severely lacks competition. And I definitely want to see like some sort of competitor, whether it's like a mod for the game or uh, an older version of the game remastered into something. Oh, there's our first game of the day. But I feel like COD has gotten complacent and they're, they're changing parts of the game, trying to reinvent the wheel that don't need to be changed instead of just adding in more of the content that we like to see. It feels like they're kind of ignoring fans and going in the opposite direction in a lot of ways for, for things, for content in the game. And it's just really disappointing to see. Because you see like other games that actually take fan feedback and add it as parts into the game. Like the biggest one I've seen is like Minecraft. I, I know they're completely different games, but the, the way that developers approach it is extremely different where like somebody will make a mod for the game and instead of them like cease and desisting it and taking it down, Minecraft would be like, oh, that's a great idea. How'd you do this? You know, maybe we should add this in. Especially like the reaction I saw to the cease and desist going out with the whole fan reaction of its player base and people that are just now hearing about it saying how like brilliant of an idea it is and how it's unfortunate that it got snuffed out like this. And just COD or whoever owns it, Activision Blizzard is just such a huge company that it's going to like court with them or trying to like go to war with them legally will financially ruin somebody forever like they will drag that out even if you're in the right for doing something which them protecting their ip i don't think you would be but even you made something like similar to that and they wanted to you know sue there's like no chance of winning against them in, in any sort of like legal facet so if anyone's out there and you know how to make a game and you want to make a COD clone, please make a competitor to this. We need the competition. And even people who are like completely satisfied with this COD, they love this COD. It's like their favorite COD of all time. They're like, oh, quit bitching, quit complaining. Why, why don't you go play something else? I don't, oh, there's nothing else like in this facet to play. And even if you're like so into this game, you should want there to be competition because then it puts like a fire under the, the developers asked to make a better game and do more for it because i've seen a lot of people saying like oh we see x defy instead even though it was just a beta that ended and the full game's not out yet or like nobody's talking about this game anymore but it's like, like you should want to see changes or or anything made to a game and be like you know what we need that in this like it just baffles me when i i see people say like uh, i'm glad like these COD clones or competitors are like dying out. Like I get being loyal to one thing and hating like another. It's kind of like uh, almost like a team sport rivalry thing, but competition and everything breeds innovation in, in like the, the fight to get a sort of like fan base or like customer base. And I feel like every COD fan should want some sort of competitor out there to help make this game better. I don't know. I'm just ranting, but th this is just the, the shit I've seen going around the COD space recently. And by COD space, I mean me scrolling on Twitter while I'm shitting. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we have just our normal kills. And then maybe double kills? But I have not been going for hip fire kills a whole lot. I need to knock these out. There we go. Honestly, it might be easier to just use hip fire. Ooh, that's a nice double and hip fire. Oh, yep, there's our hip fire kills. Okay, so maybe it is just double kills left. I honestly don't remember the other challenge. I think it was just suppressor kills. So our kills and suppressor kills might be done. We just need to try to get some doubles, but we'll have to try next game. 40 kills though, that's not bad. Honestly, I thought this was gonna be way worse. This is like every challenge we go into, I think it's gonna be way worse. But this is what I'm talking about right here with shoot the ship, uh, the problem with it. It's always shoot house. Every single time. Every game I've played so far today is Shoot House. On the bright side, though, if you got long shots to get done, now is the time to do them. Shoot House has one of the best maps for, for long shots. All you gotta do is just mount up in mid. But it is not the greatest for double kills. It's good for them, but not the greatest. And what is up with this? Did they just add grind to here? They even put this in, like, flush with the ground. Even the map's tilted. And I think I, I was accidentally using full auto for the start of this game, but it's fine because I got no double kills and that's the only thing I need. I don't think I've seen two enemy players stand anywhere near each other so far this game. Oh, wait. Oh, there was our only opportunity. Oh, there we go. Finally. I think we just need one more double. Oh, wait. That's a rank up. Maybe we did get it. 
Oh, let's go. Okay, so we just need three kills without dying now. These challenges honestly go by so fast when you don't have to worry about getting like gold, platinum, and polyatomic. Like in these early stages of grinding, it's kind of nice just to hop on, grab gold in like a matter of like, what, 40 minutes? And then you're done. Nice relaxing grind. And that should be three without dying. Let's just keep it going. Why not? Oh, fuck no. Never mind. I got too distracted by the riot shield guy. Other dude came in and took me out. The one time I'm not running nades too. But I'm not going to switch. Not for him. I'm still going to fuck him up without a nade. Oh no. I'm like surrounded on all sides. Oh, fuck off. Not the riot shield guy again. Oh no. Fuck, there was no escape. Now I can see why people get so frustrated with riot shield players. So I feel like I have no control over myself while using a controller. And if somebody approaches me with a shield, there's no countering it. Even though I know I can switch to any nade at any time or just run around them, but I just panic. But that's also on me. Riot shield's gotta be like one of the most difficult weapons to actually go in and get like a lot of kills with. So if you're constantly getting fucked up by a riot shield, maybe, maybe take a look at yourself. Ooh, barely got him before I could throw the shield in front of him. Ooh, come on. I just need one more kill here for some progress. There we go. Oh, out of ammo. Ooh, the 15 round mag's coming into play. Come back here. There we go. Come on, one more. Keep the progress alive. Oh, never mind. It's always on five. It's it's always one before progress. Like five's still good. And we're still getting progress off of the, the first three. Let's just let me get one more before you take me out. Oh, oh, okay. The trophy system got the kill. Great. Oh, come on. Got no ammo or aim. Oh, wait, there we go. I'm gonna bank these tags for fun. Ooh, quick advanced. We'll take that. No, dude. Pretty sure I was one off on a streak there too. All right, I'm going to add a secondary challenge for today. Get shipment. The challenge might be impossible. They'd rather throw me in a game in progress on shoot house than a, a new game on shipment. Come on, one more. There we go. Shipment or not, we're still going to get this done. Nothing will stop us. Except for maybe somebody else with better aim or literally any other weapon besides what we're using. Ooh, quick double. Oh, and three, just barely. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> okay. This, this 15 round mag's really coming into play now. Not only was there a guy sitting there that I didn't even see, but by the time I did see him, he was dead. And then two other people pushed and I was out of ammo. So it's me fighting with myself and fighting with the mag. I can't catch a break. Oh wait, maybe I can. Ooh, get fucking hip fired, pussy. You too. Hip fires for everyone. Ooh. I should have leaned heavier into hip fire. I have like all the attachments for it. And I even mentioned it earlier. And I still just didn't do it. Like my, my brain and my hands are just two different en entities entirely. I can think about doing some sort of strat. I can plan it out and even talk about it. But me doing it is a whole different thing. Ooh. Yeah, this thing tears hip fire. Okay, maybe not at range. That was totally on purpose. Huh? What? Okay, I get it was a headshot, but how are you guys killing in like one to two shots? Whoa, that one wasn't. Ooh, I might be on two kills without dying going into our next game. Let's just get a kill and not die when the next one starts. No way, we actually got shipment. Okay, let's, let's finish this on shipment actually. Let's get this thing done. But I gotta remember, no dying right at the start. Need to get a kill first. There we go. Okay, now I can die all I want. Actually, not all I want. I can die after getting progress. That's the only time it's allowed. Okay, never mind. I'm just dying constantly. We got our one little taste of progress. And now shipment reminded me why it's shipment. This is a whole different beast. Ooh, okay. That might be three right there. And that might actually might be our camo. Show me gold. Let's go, baby. 
It's all done. What's the Burger King guy doing here? The fuck? All right, well, shipment, it was nice seeing you, but I'm leaving. Let's make sure that we got it. Yup, we do. And we still need six more SMGs to work on platinum. I thought we had more than that. But let's go ahead, hop in game, and see what it looks like there. All right, this is what our MP5 or Lockman sub, whatever you want to call it, looks like with gold on it. And it actually looks really good. I love the gold in this game. The coverage in this game is amazing. This weapon, not so much, though. Look how small this magazine is. This thing is tiny, but we still got it done, so... Fuck you and your magazine. But there you go. Another weapon completed, another challenge beat. Uh, make sure if you want to leave your suggestions down below that you check my comment there before you do. But I'm open to any and all suggestions and weapon challenges. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for all your love and support. And I will see you in the next one. Later.